With our React Native Expo app now set up, let's dive into Expo Router. Expo Router is a file system based routing system, meaning the routes you can access in your app are determined by how you organize your files and folders in your code. Of course, you might naturally wonder does every file in our app become a route? Not quite. Expo Router is built around conventions, and there are a few important ones you should remember. First, all routes must live inside the app folder. Second, any file that default exports a React component becomes a route. Third, each folder represents a segment of the URL path. Fourth, index files, such as index.js or index.tsx, represent the root of that segment. When these conventions are followed, the file automatically becomes available as a route in your application. And files in the app folder that uniquely represent a route are called pages. You can think of pages as screens in your mobile app and regular web pages in your web app. Let's understand these routing conventions better by implementing a few scenarios. For our first scenario, we want to create a home page that appears when a user first opens our app or when they visit the root URL in a web browser. Looking at our app folder, we will find an index.tsx file in the app directory. This file serves as our first route and represents the home page. Let's rename the component to home and update its text to home page. Open the terminal and press R to reload the app. Now, when users open the app, they will see the home page, and for web browsers, it is accessible at the root URL, localhost port 8081 during development. So the key routing concept to remember here is that an index.tsx file immediately inside the app folder automatically maps to your first screen in your mobile app and the root route in your web app. Now let's tackle our second scenario. We want to create two additional routes one for an about page and one for a profile page. Let's head back to our editor and create these routes. There are two simple steps. First, create a new file called about.tsx inside the app folder. Second, from this file, default export a React Native component. For writing component boilerplate code, we will make use of a VS Code extension called ES7 Plus React Redux React Native Snippets. Go ahead and install it. In about.tsx, type rnfs and press tab to get the boilerplate code. The component name is about with an uppercase A, and so is the text rendered within the component. Next, I'll add a container style to the component to center the text. Container is an object with flex set to one, Justify content set to center and align items also set to center. In the JSX on the view component, we specify style is equal to styles.container. Our about component is now ready. Similarly, let's create a profile page, but this time I'll use a slightly different approach to highlight the folder based convention. Instead of creating a single file profile.tsx, we will create a folder called profile in the app directory. Inside this folder, we'll create an index.tsx file. For the component code, we'll copy the code from about.tsx, paste it, and update the component name profile and the text profile. After saving these files, we now have three routes in our application. The root route, which is the home page from index.tsx in the app folder, localhost 8081 slash about, which is the about page from about.tsx in the app folder, and localhost 8081 slash profile, which is the profile page from profile slash index.tsx in the app folder. So the second key routing concept to remember is that routes are directly tied to their file or folder names within the app directory. A file named about.tsx maps to slash about route, and a folder named profile with an index.tsx file inside it maps to slash profile route. This is the beauty of file-based routing. The structure of your files directly maps to the structure of your routes. 
no need for complex configuration. Although we can navigate to these new routes by typing the URL in a web browser, users expect to navigate by tapping on UI elements in the app. For this, Explorator provides the link component, which allows for navigation between pages. Let's update our home page, which is the index.tsx in the app folder, to include links to about and profile routes. At the top, import the link component from Explorator. The component works similarly to an anchor tag in web development. Specify the route you want to navigate to using the href prop, so href slash about, and specify the text you want to display using the children prop, about. Similarly, a link component to slash profile and the text is profile. We have our two links to about and profile routes. We are not going to worry about these styles for now, but I will add a gap between the links to make it easier to tap them. Open the terminal and reload the app by pressing R on your keyboard. Now we should see the two links on the home page. Tap on About link and you should see the About page. Top left of the screen, we will have a back button to navigate back to the home page. This is a feature of stack navigation which we will learn more about later in the course. Similarly, the profile link will navigate to the profile page and have a back button to navigate to the home page. In case of the web browser, Explorator will navigate to the specified route without a full page reload, providing a smooth user experience. We have a fully functional navigation system in our app. This direct mapping of routes to files makes it incredibly easy to understand and manage your app's routing structure. As your app grows, you can simply add more files to create new routes without having to update any configuration.